June the 13th, 2021. Guys, I hope everyone's enjoying this weekend. It is hot now here in central Mississippi. It's uh, with the humidity at 99%. We are at, let me look at my weather station, 105 real feel, 105. And th- what does that do with the sun out? Destabilizes everything. We're going to look at that. The entire state of Mississippi just went purple under severe thunderstorm warnings as they're just popping up and moving from the north to the south. But what you're looking at right now is a system that is now forming off the coast of South Carolina. Now, it's about a 20% chance of development. We'll look at that. They're calling it uh, subtropical now or non-tropical. But they're saying, just as we've talked about uh, over the years, once it gets, and it's very close to getting into the Gulf Stream, guys, that's the stream of uh, warmer water, comes out of the Gulf of Mexico and runs north up the East Coast. Then it has chances of development. Now, guys, we'll look at the uh, track on it, but it looks like you guys on the outer banks on the coast of North Carolina are going to catch the edge of whatever develops, whether it's uh, severe thunderstorms and rip currents, uh, some pop-up tornadoes, whatever, depending on the strength of this. It's not supposed to become... A major hurricane or anything like that but look at the size of this and be aware of it uh or if you go into the beach or boating or you live in low-lying areas but the center of circulation appears to be right in this area right here and it's very close and as we back out and look at the satellite over the gulf of mexico itself what i was saying guys is the entire state of mississippi and maybe some surrounding areas I just had an alert on my weather radio, kind of out of nowhere with the sunshine that we're seeing now. But there's a rapid development of thunderstorms popping up because of this destabilization. And again, they are talking about hail, high winds, uh, heavy rain in some places. It's not going to be everywhere, they said, but you can see what's happening, starting to pop up. So everyone realize in the state and in the surrounding areas that you're under a severe thunderstorm warning, not a watch. It came on, again, the weather radio. And what we're dealing with down in the Bay of Campeche is, uh, again, almost two systems. Got one coming off the Yucatan here now, and that may form with the uh, backside or the east side of this storm. And you can see its center location is, uh, rotation is here. They're saying that this thing is going to dive across the uh, Mexican Peninsula and go into the Pacific. We're just going to have to see because the the weather's changing pretty rapidly. Again, same thing as from this morning. Uh, the main storms it forms is supposed to come up towards the Louisiana area, so don't forget that. Now, it's becoming real unstable for a couple of reasons. You notice this dip that's coming out into the Gulf of Mexico from Louisiana over into Florida. When that wind is moving one direction, when you start getting this tropical wind and moving in the other direction that's where you start getting some of your rotation now oklahoma and texas area you're still getting some of those pop-up storms that uh, did the same thing it did yesterday it was uh, real cloudy this morning and then the, the sunlight hit it and because of the drier air it just didn't hold together you're starting to see some things pop up right here in the uh, southwest corner of oklahoma so uh, pay attention to that now here's the latest from the national hurricane center We now have a 50% chance of development in the next five days. It says, as of 2 p.m. Eastern, which was 43 minutes ago, a large area of showers and thunderstorms over the Bay of Campeche is associated with a broad low-pressure area. The overall system has become somewhat better organized since yesterday. Slow development is possible during the next few days while the system meanders near the coast of Mexico, and a tropical depression could form late in the week while the system begins to move slowly northward. Now, some of the models show these two centers of circulation that we're talking about in the Bay of Campeche actually uh, merging together, and we saw that happen a few times last year. It says, well, again, regardless of development, heavy rainfall is possible over portions of Central America and Southern Mexico during the next several days. Again, 50% chance of a formation in five days, 20% in two days. Off the East Coast, 20% chance of for, uh, formation in the next five days. A non-tropical area of low pressure has formed about 150 miles south of Wilmington, North Carolina. 
and is producing disorganized showers and thunderstorms. The system is forecast to move northeastward over the next few days near the warm Gulf Stream, which could allow for some tropical development to occur while it moves away from the U.S. The low should be over cold water south of Nova Scotia by midweek, ending its development chances. And you can see it's this is the path going right up again towards Nova Scotia. But notice how close this edge of it is um, to the Outer Banks, North Carolina. Now remember, the cone is where they're saying the center of the storm, the very center of it, uh, circulation, will travel somewhere within these yellow bands. And so if the center is along this western edge of the band, closest to shore, then mo the storm will be centered there, and of course you'll get more um, driving rain, wind, uh, rip currents, things like that, along the uh, North Carolina coast. So pay attention to that, guys, in the next few days, and plan accordingly. Still working on the other video that I was talking about uh, since Saturday. Haven't forgotten it. Um, I'll get it up, guys, very soon. It's a heads up. Be safe. By the way, push the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Be safe.